Hello, is this Lee Mai? I'm from the Singapore Dancing Troupe. We just arrived in High City. We would like to interview you. Next, let's have a look at the weather. The temperature will remain high, but a cold front will land in northern coastal areas this weekend. Psytown and U-Town will be the first to feel the cold. 
The cold front will move south and reach High City next week. Now local news. The number of migrant workers in High City reached an all-time high. This will bring a lot of changes. Our special guest today is Professor Shu from the High City University Department of Sociology. He is here to discuss... tonight give it back stop running you're evil well dear Limai soon you'll no longer be one of us sayonara Limai we're taking off see you bye remember to stay in touch Bye. Let's go. Congratulations on your graduation. You looked fantastic. That wasn't my graduation performance. It was my inauguration into unemployment. I finished all the resignation procedures. The next time I dance will be after I go to Japan. Do you get what I'm saying? I knew it. The Venus de Milo once had two arms. In 1820, a farmer from the Aegean Sea found her in a cave in her complete form. But the local villagers wanted to claim her for their own. As the two sides fought over the statue, her arms were accidentally smashed. But the reason why the Venus de Milo is considered beautiful is because of her broken arm. Not really. We should learn from the story that beauty is something that can't be shared.
Ms. Yang, your cat ate my goldfish again last night. I don't care. This time, I demand compensation. Old Jin, I mean, no offense by this, but it's the same thing every time. Whenever your fish disappear, you blame my cat. Do you have any proof? Oh, this time I've got proof. Come look if you don't Take believe me. Take your hands me. off me. Stop pulling. Come here. I'll show you. No, what is there to see? How many times have my fish been eaten? How many times? Tell me. You tell me how many. Time and time again. Take better care of your cat. It's always pooping and peeing in front of my door. It's gross. Look, just come look. Let go of me. Aren't these your cat's claw marks? Do you have proof? Do you have proof? Yes, the claw marks are proof. Are those from my cat? This is proof that it's your cat. Okay, enough. Stop all the fighting. We're neighbors. This takes compromise. I demand compensation. Enough, enough! I'll invite you all to dinner. Now stop arguing. So many times? Nonsense. Do you have proof? I demand compensation. Help. Help! Stop the thief. Someone stole my shoes. You stole stuff. What's your name? Where do you live? How old are you? Tell me everything! Hey! Get back in the chair and stay there! Is this your home? I just asked you a question. What's your name? Look at all this. You have a bed, a wardrobe closet, and even a little place to cook. It is your house, is it not? But are you really willing to spend your whole life here? Stealing is breaking the law! You go to jail if you break the law, you know that? All right, all right, all right. Just take it easy. It's not a big deal. Here you go. Sorry for the trouble. Hypocrite! Shut up! Who the hell are you? Inspector Shu is a good friend. He's finishing his third round of Mahjong and can't come. He'll be here later. Then, I'll wait for him. No problem. He told me to come right back. He doesn't like the one playing in my place. Why don't you... Give him a call. And tell him you'll go in my place? Sounds good. Yunshu! Why did you come back all of a sudden? You didn't even tell us you were coming! Mom, look. My earrings look good? Of course. They're from Lao Fengxiang. Then they must be expensive. Not too expensive. Who paid? You don't need to worry about that. If you can't do it any more, then stop. You're not fooling anyone. The egg is overcooked. It's not very good. If it's overcooked, then why don't you come home and cook for yourself? Did you bring your boyfriend with you? We really need a man in this house. Come on, Mom. I'm giving you all the support you need. Mom, I could support the family too if I went to High City. Girls shouldn't work too hard. Or no man will want them. Mom, I know that. But I don't want to find a man like yours, who left us to fend for ourselves even before Yun Chao was born.
Stop staring and hurry up and work. everything. Smash everything! What do you want? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Testing, testing. Don't hit her. Goodness. What do you mean? She... She's my girl. What did you say? I said she, she is my girl. Oh, wow. Good, good. Very, very nice. I guess the times have changed. I, Jalsi, am a very friendly person. I'm a businessman. And business is friendly. <laughs> so, potential partners, 50-50 split of your profits? Why should we? Did you hear that? She's asking me why. Why should you? Why should you? This is why. This is why. I'm not your girl. Coward. Coward! I wonder where this big TV set is going. I guess it's Lao Wang's. It must be expensive. Forward, forward. In here, in here. Careful, careful. Come in, come in. Take it slow. Put it here. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Be careful, keep your balance. You were like a crippled crab. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are you all right? Thank you. Come out and take the money. Look at you, what a mess. I'm fine, no problem. Hey, Wenbin, where's your wallet? In the bag in that room. I'm really sorry. I couldn't find it. Where is it? Right here. Have as much of anything as you want. Thanks, I will. Here, try some of this. You're very hospitable. Mom, don't worry. No lottery ticket seller loses money. There's no way we would lose money. Isn't that right, Wenbin? Exactly. You know, my room is so well equipped now that it might feel a bit crowded, but it feels just like I'm in the big city. Here, try this. Mom. Thank you, thank you. Where I'm from, the apartments themselves aren't that valuable. The permanent residency attached to them is, though. That's about the way of it, right? Right. I almost forgot. This is for you. 
I hope you like it. Shouldn't you thank him? It's all right. Don't worry. Is that any way to treat a guest? We're just happy to have you here. We don't need gifts. Is that any way to treat a guest? This isn't worth anything. I'm just being polite. Wenbin, where's your gift for Mom? For you, I've got a first prize lottery ticket. How can you reveal it's a first prize before she scratches it? What's this about? Mom, just scratch it. How was it? Oh wow, Mom! You just won the first prize. You're very lucky. Let's just leave the color TV at my house. No problem. Consider it a hello gift for your mother. Isn't this a scam? Come on, Mom. What's the problem with it? Pretty soon we'll have everything we need here at home. And I'll be making my own money too. Doesn't that make you happy? Go bring the soup here. Right now. Try the fish. It's very fresh. Thanks, I will. Don't worry about me. Brother-in-law, try the soup. Thanks so much. Since when are you so sweet? Do you like it? I do. I do. Have some more. Sure. Look behind us. The last row. Come on. Qingsheng, why are you always watching movies? I, I just enjoy being alone. I love movies too. You liar! I saw the bandage on your hand. Your dad beat you again, didn't he? I don't blame him for beating me. We don't make much money at our booth, and I lost half our profits. Have you considered leaving for High City? To try the KFC there? No. I mean, really going there without coming back. I mean, this clock never moves, but we can still move, right? But what would we do there? We could live the life we see in the movies. We could do the things we want, become the people we want to be. Move it further to the left. Is it working? Check it. I'm getting a signal. Come listen. Come listen. Did you hear that? Hello. This is High City People's Broadcasting Station. Here's Girl Beneath the Streetlight to send you on your way. Hello. This is High City People's Broadcasting Station.
you know how it works? This adjusts the volume. See? Turn it up like this. Turn it down like this. This is for switching sound channels. See? The sound is muddy. Much better now. It's so hot in here. Is this the kind of music you usually like? Yeah. My sister and I shared this little room growing up. Now she's marrying you and living in High City. So please be good to her. What do you want? What are you doing? What are you doing, Li Wenbin? You're my brother-in-law. Your sister's Lao Feng Xiang earrings are fake. Did you know that? I'll buy you real ones. Mom! Mom! A boombox is barely worth anything. You can keep it. Where's my order? Chin Sheng, I'm leaving town. Let's go get our money back. Are you crazy? Yun Chao, what's going on? Is something wrong? You're making time for girls now? Worthless!
show. Whatever happens once we're in there, I'll take you to High City. If we ever make it out of here, I'll take you to every KFC there is. Let's go. Opportunity only knocks once. It's now or never. Make your dreams come true with just one UN. Madam, you won the third prize. Third prize, third prize. The more you buy, the bigger your chance. Here we are, High City. Where should we go now? Let's go to karaoke. Okay.
Are you okay? I'll be fine. I've been hurt plenty since I started dancing. Don't worry. Your condition isn't stable yet. You can't get out of bed. Doctor, look! Komatsu, don't leave me. Qinsheng! Qinsheng! Where's my bag? The passport is still here. This won't delay our plans to go abroad. I'll recover soon. The patient's nerves around the thigh bone area were badly damaged in the accident. Even if she recovers perfectly, I'm afraid she won't be able to perform challenging dancing movements. Soon. Mom, how are you recovering? I'd like to come back and visit you soon. You've sacrificed so much for the chance to dance in Japan. Don't let me get in the way. Go do it and don't look back. Two two three three two three four two three five two three six two three seven two three eight two. 3 5 2 3 6 2 3 7 2 3 8 2 Lift leg 1 2 3 2 2 3 3 2 3 4 2 3 5 2 3 6 2 3 7 2 3 Li Mai! What are you doing back? Why didn't you tell us you were coming? Yeah, why are you back? Did you bring us gifts? I'd take you back if I could. But our dance troupe will be disbanded soon. The Bureau of Culture made a decision. Our troop is about to lose the city's funding and name. I see. Since you're back, why not stay with me? I have family doing business in the South. He might have some opportunities for us. Sir, I think you've misunderstood. You can't mean you want to keep dancing. Don't be a fool. Li Mai, you can't dance anymore. I've been a dance teacher all my life. I can tell just by looking at you. Li Mai. Do you know how good the climate in Singapore is? Next time I will take you guys there. Sure. Hey, cheers. Pardon me, please. Okay. Two Singapore slings. Hibiki on the rock, double.
Thank you, sir. Thank you. In 1915, a British military officer walked into a Singapore bar. He saw a woman sitting at the bar counter. She was dressed completely in red. She was the most beautiful woman he had ever met. Then the officer had the bartender create a new cocktail for her. A red one. That's how Singapore Sling was invented. I know my cocktails. Keep it. I'm not drunk. Let's go to the next one. Let's keep drinking till dawn. Where do you live? I'll give you a lift if it's on my way back. Even if it's not, I'll still give you a ride home. I don't remember if there has ever been a girl sitting in the back seat in my car. But right now I'd like to know what the girl I want to remember is up to. All the girls who show up in this bar are either singers or dancers. Do you really care about that? I don't care very much, no. But if you are a dancer, I can introduce you to my friend. He's from the Singapore dance troupe. You look gorgeous tonight. How did you know my size? A glance is enough for me to know a beautiful woman's size. Cheers. Cheers. Singapore Dance Troupe is coming for a tour soon. I could schedule an interview for you. I guess I'll need practice somewhere before that. I know the owner of a nightclub. You could get your practice there. Don't you mind seeing me dance in front of a crowd? You are so beautiful. It would be a great shame for them not to see your beauty.
Encore, encore. I only lose my mind over two things. Litter. And the other is you. Hongming! Hongming, get the hell out here! Where are you? Hongming? Hongming? You must be Hongming. You didn't pay your debts. What are you doing? Stop, stop, please! You can't escape this time. Stop it now! Hey! Please, stop beating him. Beating a man who needs a woman to save him is a waste of my talent. I'll give you three more days. Let's go. You're the almighty Wang Hongming. Three days is more than enough for you. Is anything you told me actually true? The Singapore dance troupe is a lie too, isn't it? Maybe someday when the police come to your door, you can fool them with the lies you told me. You didn't even fight back when they beat you. You're pathetic! Then what about you? What's real about you? Are you really doing this for dancing? Or just for permanent residency in Singapore? I've seen more than my fair share of vain women like you. Take a good look at yourself. You don't have anyone but me. This is all I have. Now I've really got nothing left. It's not a big deal. You can start over.
Mist. This drink is from Hong Ming. Did those gangsters come back for him? No. He's all right. He says he'll hide in Singapore for now. And he asked you to stop waiting for him. By the way, he owes us a lot for the drinks he had. My boss said you'll have to pay off his debts to keep your dancing job here. Thanks for the wonderful performance the girls brought to us. Let's make our applause a little warmer. Miss, cheer up. It's not a big deal. And I know you'll like the next one even more. So now please give us a warm round of applause. To welcome Miss Lee Mai. How's Hong Ming's business doing these days? Your mom needs imported drugs for treatment. We are out of options. We need your help. Dad, don't worry. I'll take care of it. Hello. I'm here for the lead dancer interview. I hear you pay 3,000 yuan a month. I started dancing when I was seven. I was recruited by the high city modern dance troupe from a rural children's palace. I can do folk modern, local and foreign dance. I'm surprised that the modern dance troupe keeps appearing in my life. I can show you my dancing. Take off your clothes. Showing your thighs every day doesn't suit you. You're too well educated. Wait a minute. I'll introduce you to a friend. He might help you.
Commander B says you are a dancing artist. I can find you a decent job. As long as you dance for me when we're alone. I was once told that beauty should never be shared. Is this Lee Mai? I'm from the Singapore Dancing Troupe. We just arrived in High City. We would like to interview you.
What took you so long? Everyone is waiting for you. Put your head down. Am I a mourner for your funeral or something? Excuse me? Trust me, when I get rich, I'll have a much bigger funeral than this. Obviously. If we can't collect, none of you can get paid. What song are we playing? You don't even know what we're playing? You need brains to survive in High City. What do you think we play dressed like this? If we make money today, I'll treat you some KFC tonight. Now on my mark. Play! Pay your debts, it's only right. Pay your debts, it's only right. Come on, just go through the motions. You're not performing at my funeral. You have to pay to play in life. I can't believe you're a grown man and you're still so naive. Stop! Stop! Hold it up straight. Up here. Hold it like this. Idiot! Catch him! This is our chance. Catch him! Stop running! Go that way. I'll take this way. I got him. You want to run? Why aren't you running now? Easy, easy. Come on, guys, help me out here. Once I have some money, I'll pay back Commander B. Well, how about this? How much do you want? I can pay you. Just let me go, okay? Only 300? You want to buy your life with this? Easy, man. Sorry, I've not been rich recently. Get up! Hey, Jin. Boss. Running away from us again? Try it again. Bring him to Commander B now. No problem. Feng, what are you doing? Time to go. Let's go. Hurry up! Commander, come drink with us. This foreign liquor goes down so smoothly. Girls, don't worry about drinking with me. Just keep my friend company. I'll drink to myself, to a great man. You both did very good work today. It's all thanks to Fung. Nothing good happens to people who owe me money. And I know you two can do great things. One of you can play, the other can fight. Salute, we serve the commander. Bottoms up. What's with you? The commander is toasting you. Commander, don't mind him. He's been out of it lately. He has a crush on a girl who lives across from his apartment. She's from High City Modern Dance Troupe. A modern dancer. You're drunk. Look at him. Everyone has things they want in life. There's nothing strange about that. Fung to you. Commander, cheers. You know, I really think you should find a proper job. I'm talking to you. Did you hear me? This is temporary. Didn't I tell you that?
What's that for? Buy yourself some decent clothes. You'll never get girls in those rags. Come on, let's keep drinking. Let's drink more. Miss Lee, you're leaving? Yes, I'm leaving for Japan. Fung, interested in going to Sea Town tomorrow? I'm telling you, man, I'm gonna get rich on this one. You got me? Fung? Hello? Fung, hello? Fung, I'm talking to you. Hello? Hello? Don't get me involved in things like this again. Listen, if we make it work this time, I'll buy myself a Mercedes. I'll drink bottles of foreign liquor every day, and I'll pay piles of notes as tips. You've got quite a life planned. You're still too naive. Reward takes risks, understand? I think you'd better be careful. Commander B isn't as predictable as you think. I have my own man in Seatown. Wonger from our hometown. Now it's our turn to run things. In school you suggested I learn the tenor horn. But when I was looking for a job I realized that second tenor is only useful if you're joining a military band. Most of the time people don't realize their stupidity until it's too late. Scratch off a lottery ticket, change your life. Pay a little now to change your entire future. Fung, go up there. Buy two lottery tickets on me. Shu, I'll go back to get more tickets. Okay, here they are. Buy lottery tickets. The more you buy, the more you can this win. This is a scam. Give our money back. We want your explanation. Give our money back. Look what we have here. This young man looks very lucky. What is this? Don't try to fool me. I want this one. This one's a winner. Don't scratch it off yet. You'll jinx it. Wait for the right time. Good doing business with you. Hold on! You came with him? I have something to discuss with him. Wonga, come over here.
Take him upstairs. Show him the games. Please. Fuck off! Good doing business with you. How is Commander B doing? He doesn't know you're here, right? <laughs> A wise man can be ruined by his own wisdom. It happens every time. Businessmen don't succeed by playing tricks. They succeed through moral character, being loyal and following a code. You didn't do that. Do you know how close I am with Commander B? Brother C, forgive me. <laughs> Commander B asked me about how we should deal with betrayers like you. Come here. Do you have any ideas? We do small business in a small town. But we're one big family. <laughs> and now that we've got you here, you're not leaving alive. This is your fate. Brother C, those are the old ways. These days it's a battle of wits. Let's go! Light me a cigarette. I almost forgot.
I should scratch off the lottery ticket. I spent my whole life fighting. But all I got is a thank you for playing. Boom. Didn't I say that? When I died, I'd have a big funeral. This is more like it. In our lives, you always wanted too much. But all I ever wanted was a brother like you. Let's go. gang battle took place in Z-Town. The police are conducting an investigation and promise to strengthen their fight against violent gangs. Reverse it. Sir, buy a flower?
Commander! You're here very early tonight. Long time no see. Come on in, right this way. Have a good time. Ladies and gentlemen, this song is over. Let's take a break and dance again. What's the rush? Just hang on, I'll be right there. You're here. Do you play? Play with us next time. Sorry for what I just did to you. It's okay. I'm leaving this city in a few days. So I really felt like singing. And then you hijacked me. This is a very nice city. Why do you feel like you have to leave? Have you ever been to Sea Town? That's where I came from. I have an older sister. Years ago, she came here to study, and then she stayed. All my life, I was more jealous of her than anyone. Half a year ago, I 
finally came here as well. The day I arrived, my boyfriend was killed in a car accident. Qing Sheng. Qing Sheng. get out here right now. I went through a lot to get a job and rent a room. I thought I couldn't look back. I could only move on. And that's when I realized how life had been for my sister. So I stopped hating her. If you decide to leave, don't ever come back. I used to think that life was short. So we have to live it to the fullest, like in the movies. But later I realized there are happy endings and tragic endings in the movies. And movies are made for an audience. But in your own life, you are the only audience for your life. Fung, nothing good happens to people who owe me money. Bring the money, and I'll let you live. could have left and disappeared. I never wanted to leave.
Miss Yun, you went to the police station? Are you all right? What are you doing here? I wanted to ask you to do me a favor. I have a letter. Bring it to the police station tomorrow. Don't worry. I'm fine. I was just doing a favor for a friend. you were still here. The landlord told me you'd left already. It's fine. I'm on my way out. Can I come in? Where are you headed? Gorgeous in it. Now the new news update. Police have solved the gang fight case based on clues provided by a civilian. And yesterday, the police found two bodies in the suburbs. One body has been identified. The other is a 25-year-old male, 180 centimeter tall, and dressed in a dark blue jacket and jeans. If you know of anyone missing that matches this description, please contact the police as soon as possible.
To stop my parents from controlling me. To start over. The only reason is my job. For money. It just seemed like fate to me. I was so young and ignorant when I first arrived in Beijing. I was curious about everything. When the train arrived at Beijing Station, it seemed like landing on a different planet. That was exactly how it felt. At first, my salary was 600 yuan a month as an apprentice. Basically, I could save 550 yuan every month. I would withdraw all my money from the bank and count it. So I placed that money in the four corners of my suitcase, thinking that a thief would only steal from one corner and not from the other corners. When I went back to my hometown at New Year, it was like I lost my ability to process language. I was so angry with myself. When I first came to Beijing for my internship, I only earned one zuo yuan a month. At the time, my rent, which I paid quarterly plus one month's deposit, was more than 13. I felt so guilty at that moment. I had to cook porridge for myself when I was very sick, and I basically had a breakdown. I burst into tears because it was really tough. It was hard. My first apartment was about 20, 30 square meters. I had to turn to the side to reach the bed. One day, my father called me to ask me to go back home because my grandpa was critically ill. I never imagined, I never imagined that. I promised my grandpa I would go back to see him, but I didn't. I told my parents I didn't want to be away from home anymore. I just wanted to be with them and grow old with them. My grandpa used to be so proud of me. He'd say, my granddaughter is in Beijing. I wanted to make his words become reality. So I picked up my luggage again and left. When I tell my parents about tough times and my exhaustion, they always ask me to come back home and I have to tell them no. I will never go home until I learn what I want to know and reach my goals. Even though I didn't live there for very long, I realized that the room would be cleaned out and then someone new would move in as if I had never existed there. That was very moving for me. Such a tiny room gave me such a huge feeling of comfort. Because now I'm married and I've decided to bring my children to Beijing. I want to try my best to raise him and give him the best education possible. Everyone knows that coming to a strange city means dealing with all kinds of difficulties and unfortunate events. That includes me. I came from a small town and now I've finally become a director. I finally directed my film Wild Grass. No matter what kind of city you were born in or where you are headed in life, Go out, make waves, try new things. Don't let yourself feel bad or regret it. If you fail and if you succeed, then congratulations. Don't let yourself be defeated by the minor difficulties in front of you because you are the one who has such a powerful dream in your heart. Try your best and don't be afraid of success or failure. Try to make a better life for yourself because you deserve it. What matters is whether you enjoy your life every day. At a certain stage of your life, you need to strive. It seems like you can look into everyone's eyes and see what they are pursuing. I feel like Beijing has made me a better person. We shouldn't be afraid of hardship when we're young. Even if I have to leave someday, I want to go with beautiful memories. My hometown has actually become a place I couldn't go back to, even if I wanted to. You should leave your best memories and most meaningful deeds in the city you most want to be in. In the end, all of our dead dreams will be revived and we all become wild grass. That's our destiny. Nanyang Road, Chikang Road is here, getting off. The last bus to Daxing Street, getting on or not? What are you doing here? I wanted to ask you to do me a favor. I have a letter. Bring it to the police station tomorrow. You seem to really like your music. Do you mind sharing it with me?